1-800 Direct TV. Researchers at BYU are looking into the effects of gaming, not just in children, but also their parents. Unlike previous generations, this generation of parents is probably the first to have been raised on video games and still plays them as adults. But addiction to gaming doesn't just go away once someone becomes an adult. Right now, there aren't any hard guidelines about how much screen time adults should get, but we did speak with one parenting expert who has some guidance. I would use exactly the same formula that I would give to children in the sense that we have to think of it not so much as time allotted, but the balance between how all the other essential elements of your life and your responsibilities are being laid out. She also emphasized how important it is to listen to your family if they're raising flags about how much time you're spending playing games. The children will say, get off the game get off the phone. And so it's the willingness for the parent to be open-minded enough to say that if somebody else is commenting on it, it means it's a significant issue. Now that's not to say parents should completely stay away from video games. Our expert says you could even use it as a way to bond and spend time with your children as long as you do it in a smart way.